Yeah, uh, it's been a long time. Obviously, you know, obviously had an injury for you know last five weeks, and uh, but I've obviously been training quite hard. Um, you know, I've obviously haven't been doing too much cricket. Only the last last ten days or so, I've been you know started knocking a few balls and. You know, uh, I think the the fitness work I think over the last five weeks has been been really good, and um, you know, it was just obviously a nice way to start today. Uh, it was unfortunate that we lost Sash, um, you know, early doors, but um, we had to take it upon ourselves. Obviously, we we needed a good start. We haven't really had enough good starts in this tournament so far, and um, you know, Rowett and I decided to do that today. You know, um, I've obviously got have a good understanding with Rowett, having played with him, you know, at Deccan and a, f a couple of years, so. Um, it was just good, you know, good momentum up front. You know, I think we we targeted really good areas to hit boundaries, and um, you know, it, it obviously came off quite well today. Not really. Um, you know, obviously, you know, the, the wicket itself didn't differ too much from the nets that we had. You know, so we had a good feeling of what to expect as far as the wicket was concerned, and um, you know, obviously, it helped that we won the toss. You know, it, it doesn't get any easier. You know, as the evening goes on, but. Um, no, I mean that's the way we play. You know, everybody's got their own way of playing. You know, and I think we've probably uh, allowed the bowlers in the game so far to settle into a line and length, and, and maybe not made them think differently. You know, so you know when it comes to my sort of approach, you know, I'm, I'd like to put the batter under, I mean the bowler under pressure. You know, and and play shots that I'm comfortable with playing. And you know, if it comes off, it comes off. If it doesn't, then at least I've tried. You know, to upset the rhythm and you know and, and set, upset the line and length. So. It's nice when it comes off, you know, and uh, obviously, um, you know, it helped obviously with Rowett on the other end too. Yeah, I was a little bit surprised that I was just touching, you know, I thought maybe they would give him the benefit of the doubt, you know, but um, we did look at it, you know, the close up on the scoreboard when it when it came up. Um, there's one or two guys that, you know, in the change room that maybe felt that it could have gone, you know, the benefit could have gone to him, but um, it was just one of those things. If, he, if he's out, he's out. There's nothing you can do, you know, but um, yeah, maybe on another day we'd have given him not out, so. Today, unfortunately, he missed that. Yeah, look, I mean, I've always been a fan of Rohit Sharma. You know, I've seen him grow over the last couple of years. You know, I've, you know, he's, you know, he's been five years, and I think he's, he's, um, you know, his cricket has definitely gone forward. You know, I think that, um, yes, his, his temperament. You know, everybody doesn't question his talent. You know, I think Virat Kohli is, is another one that springs to mind. I think they, you know, what I've seen of them, they're definitely taking the cricket to another level. You know. Uh, but uh, you know, as far as talent is con and technique is concerned, I think Robert is a little bit better than Virat. You know, um, but no, you know, more, the more Robert plays these sort of innings, I think his temperament, you know, will get better. I think you know, his self belief will will also increase. You know, and uh, it's good for India that uh, Robert Sharma performs, and, and and if he can perform consistently, you know, the two of them can be match winners, you know, for Indian years to come, you know, both in Test and One Day Cricket, so, uh, and in 2020, you know, so um, it's good to see Rohit, you know, when he plays that sort of innings. It's obviously my, also my job to try and help him through that innings, you know, not for him to, um, you know, just to give it away, you know, he's good enough to get hundreds, you know, I think Chris Gale is, um, is sort of showing the way as far as, and David Warner showing the way, you know, Rohit is as good as all of them, you know, and more technically sound, I think, you know, so, I'm glad that he's got runs. It's nice to, you know, be in the other end. You know, there was about four hours where I probably only faced four four balls. You know, I just watched him, and uh, you know, just good, clean hitting. You know, not slogging. You know, and um, it was very impressive. Very impressive. Good. Um, well, it, it didn't help him because the West Indies didn't face him. You know, ultimately, you know, we didn't lose wickets. You know, um, but I sort of picked him. You know, early doors. You know. Um, I've obviously never faced him before, you know, so you've got to obviously watch him quite closely. Um, and yes, I mean, you do analysis the night before the game and you watch him bowl and watch him bowl, but until you actually get to the wicket, you know, and actually see it come out the hand itself, you know, you always sort of wonder, you know, how it's going to go. But, um, you know, it's just like I said, you know, T20 is, is very unpredictable. If it happens on, you know, one day, it doesn't always mean it's going to happen another day, you know. So we'll take this, you know, especially this time, you know, this stage of the tournament, you know, there are about five teams that. Are going to be pushing quite hard now in the next, you know, three games. So it's it's going to be very much a you know a four horse race at this stage. You know, for the last probably last two um, two spots. So um, anything can happen, you know. But we'll we'll take the win, and uh, you know, it's just nice. I think the team got a good start for a change, which makes a big difference. I still can't tell you. You know, I've only I've faced him a couple of balls. You know, I mean, I haven't faced him 
for 24 balls or, you know, um, I didn't face him for all four overs. Yeah, well, that, you know, you've got to watch him quite closely. You know, it's like Murley. I think that, um, you know, Murley at one stage, you know, bowlers, you know, batters were a little bit fearless, you know, fear to, because they couldn't pick him, you know. And, you know, I think, you know, the T20 now has become a very much a fearless, you know, sort of approach, you know, irrespective of who's bowling at you. You know, you, you've still got to go and pull the trigger and, and go for your shots, you know. Um, but there are one or two bowlers that you've got to play a little bit more circumspect, you know, because you target because you, you know they're a bit more dangerous than others, you know. So, um, you know, um, we'll see how it goes. You know, it worked today, you know, and, and we'll take it. But um, like I said, you know, we've got to go play against him again next week. So we'll see.